what is going on you guys welcome back to another video i am killing it with the weekly vlogs if i do say so myself uh so today i am going to be filming a february favorites today is the 2nd of March, so I wanted to give you guys some of the kind of products I have been loving recently because I love watching these videos myself and I feel like there's a whole heap of things that I want to share with you guys that I have really been enjoying, so let's get into the video. Okay, well first things first, I wanted to say excuse the tan to the makeup, to the, sorry, no makeup face. Y'all are used to seeing that by now on me. Just, I feel like it always looks way worse on camera. But anyway, it's fine. So, the first thing I wanted to show you guys that I have been absolutely loving recently is actually a book. Uh, I've been sharing this on my story, so a few of you guys have probably already seen me recommend this already. It is This Is Your Brain on Birth Control, The Surprising Science of Women, Hormones, and the Law of Unintended Consequences. Um, so yes, I actually found this book from another fellow coach that I saw was reading this and they really recommended it. Uh, so I'm nearly finished it actually. <laughs> I ha It has not taken me long. I have not been able to put this book down if I'm being quite honest. Absolutely loving it and I haven't been able to read it for the past few nights because I have been so busy um, But like honestly like I'm scheduling points in my days just so I can read this I normally just read it before bed um, But it is just really interesting in terms of the pill and um, Just all the new research that they have found out recently that you know doctors don't really tell you Especially you know if you're someone like me and you've gone on the pills to kickstart your period um, It's actually you know definitely not a good thing and I know a lot of girls are more aware to this now and it's just all the actual science and the research behind it and I just find it so so interesting that it can like it honestly does affect every area on of your life because it affects your hormones your hormones affects your brain and ultimately it changes you know who you end up choosing as a partner which is a pretty damn big deal deal like that's why we you know, we're women. We, you know, we want to choose someone to have eventually have babies too. Um, but yeah, it can. It's just really, really interesting with how much your brain actually changes on birth control that you wouldn't realize. Um, so yeah, and they like there's just so much research in there as well. But it's worded in a way that is really quite understandable and relatable as well. And I honestly, I I can't put this book down. Like I. Recommend it to every single female in the world um, and I've actually loved learning from it from a coach's perspective um, as well just to help so many clients because so many, so many girls struggle with choosing a birth control option whether it be for, um, you know, pregnancy prevention or acne or um, moods, uh, all that kind of thing. Like, there's just not enough evidence of well not enough research and not a lot of doctors um are updated with the latest evidence so i think it is really important for you to be educated on yourself so you can make that decision on what you would like to do uh so go check out this book this is definitely one of my most recommended things i would recommend this month that i have gotten onto okay so the next thing I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with the black opium perfume. Um, so I think it was my brother who was going to go find um, this the black opium perfume for my mum, um, and couldn't find it anywhere over Christmas time. So it was it was just sold out everywhere. Anyway, the lady ended up recommending this bad boy, which is like a knockoff version of black opium. And if you know of black opium, it's like hundred and fifty dollars. I think it's by YSL. $150 perfume, um, not cheap at all, but it smells beautiful. And she recommended this as a knockoff version. I believe this was like seven or twelve dollars Australian. So I think like seven bucks from the chemist. So this is where we got it from. If you live in the Gold Coast, you know. Uh, we got it from the chemist um in Kumra outside of the Coles. So that's where uh, we got it from. But it's called Black Addition Addiction. Um it's pretty cheap feeling bottle but literally it smells exactly like it um 
So yeah, definitely would like I am blown away. And honestly, I find the smell still lasts just as long as the real version. So pretty damn crazy. Would highly recommend going to go find a knockoff version if you do like the um standard black opium perfume. Okie dokie. So the next product that I have been loving is a pair of sunglasses. Um, I don't normally like this kind of sun, like sunglass on me, sunglasses, sunglass, sunglass on me. Does that make sense? Um, I, I love the look of them on other people. Like it's like Kim K kind of vibe. Um, but every time I've tried a pair on, I just have not loved it on my head shape. Um, but it was at Pack Fair the other day, if you live in the Gold Coast, um, at the sunglass shop outside of bras and things just like a little store there and I really need a new pair of sunnies and I tried a few on and honestly these were my favorite and even Isaac said that as well um they were like 20 or 25 dollars um this is them and then this is them on feel like a bit of a bad bitch in them to be honest and because they they cover so much of your eyes that like everything's tinted so even if you're driving and the sun can like you just you just don't have that you just tunnel vision baby with these on i honestly they're my favorite sunglasses i've ever bought so all right so the next thing i want to show you guys is actually a pair of heels um now she doesn't wear heels much um but I actually wear these for dance classes. So I started going to dance every Friday um, and I've been loving it. Let me just pull the zip up. Um, and I actually got these from Fashion Nova. Um, more on that in another video because I'm going to do a Fashion Nova haul very soon when I get my order. But these are from Fashion Nova and I am so impressed with Fashion Nova. Oh my gosh. Um, so they are a stiletto so just like a typical like kind of dance shoe but they are a boot they're open toe which is cute if you got your nails done um and then tie up and then they've got the zip on the side and they're just so easy to get into and i just yeah i don't know i don't have much to say about them except for they are what they are but i always struggle to find like an actual stiletto boot I can never find them in the actual stores. I've seen a few pairs online, but nowhere near like as nice as these. And they go with pretty much like every outfit, like they're cute with jeans. They never wear jeans, but like cute if you're going out with like literally any outfit. Absolutely love these. If you need like a stiletto heel or if like you're a dancer, 40, 30, $40 I paid for these. So I would highly recommend Fashion Nova shoes. Okay, so the next thing I would recommend, hold up, is another pair of shoes. Um, and they probably don't look as clean anymore because I got them for Christmas. Um, but they are Nike 270s. Yeah, they're, they're not clean, I'm sorry. Um, but absolutely love, love these. I got Isaac the black pair and he got me the white pair for Christmas. Um, but they are just a beautiful shoe. I don't train legs in them, just upper body and like kind of if I'm going for a walk or I actually wear these to like hip hop classes where we don't need to wear heels. I wear these. Um, I just find them like a really nice, like fit looking shoe. Like I feel athletic in these. Um, so this one's a little bit random and probably a lot of you guys probably want to skip over this one if you don't suffer from the same thing I have to do and is recurrent UTIs. And honestly, I know it's literally so many girls get recur recurring UTIs. Um, and I find these have definitely been helping. So I did just want to share with you guys. I've looked up every kind of thing under the sun of what to do and whatnot. Um, I think for me, it's very much of a genetic thing because my Nana always had them, but my mom didn't. So I think it's kind of random in the family. Anyway, so these pills, I don't actually have too much left, but my doctor recommended these. Um, and then I was speaking to the chemist about these, but these are just, um, some cranberry tablets. Uh, we all know cranberries are great for UTIs. Um, and they're just as like a prevention thing. So you just kind of take them every day. Not gonna lie. I'm very bad at taking them, but I'm getting better. Um, and these are the exact same thing. Um, not cheap. I think this is, this is kind of cheap ish, but I think this was like $30. Um, but honestly, when you have that kind of pain, it's just, 
you'll do anything at that point. Uh, and you literally just take one tablet of each per day. They taste awful. Um, and they're like big suckers. Like they're big horse tablets, honestly. Uh, but honestly, I every single girl, and I know plenty of guys who get them as well, they are not a fun time. Um, but if you do struggle with these guys, go get yourself some cranberry tablets. And I honestly don't know what these are. Um, some kind of antibacterial for suppression or elimination of urinary tract bacteria. So this is high prep hip prex, and these are 30 milligrams of cranberries, which you can both just get at the chemist um, if you are after them. So definitely been helping me, but like I said, I still struggle with it. Okay, so the third last thing is Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. I feel like a lot of you guys probably already know about this perfume already, but I only discovered this perfume in Christmas or like November last year. And it is the best smell in the world, to be honest. It's, it is a pretty cheap perfume, but I personally love this smell. It smells delicious. Okay, so the second thing I wanted to show you guys is a lash serum for all my girls who have had lash extensions. I just got mine put back on the other day. Um, and this is what I have used to grow my lashes because I, all throughout COVID, I, after getting my lashes off, I needed to restore my lash health. And I brought this bad boy, very expensive, $120. Uh, but so worth it and it still lasts me. Like I've had this for nearly a year now and I honestly swear by it. Like if there's a product here that I swear by, it's it's this. Um, and you just put it on like um, you're kind of putting on like wings liner. Uh, you can do it morning or night but I think just once per, once per night is fine. It's called I Envy. Uh, you can only, you can't order it online. You have to get it from like a local um, beauty supplier. Uh, so like if you, your local lash check sells it or like maybe like hairdressers and whatnot, um, that's only where you can get it because you can't buy it online, which is pretty crazy. Um, but honestly, there, I wouldn't have spent $120 on <laughs> a lash serum unless I had like really researched and seen the before and afters but honestly my lashes grew so much in um the time that I was using this and I so used it all through used it all throughout COVID and then I had like six months off lash extensions and used it again and I just like my natural lashes were honestly so long like they were longer than my brows so I would highly recommend INV 100% go get on it. Okay, the last thing I would recommend in my February favorites, yoga blocks, stretching blocks. Um, I, you guys know me, I am very flexible naturally. So for me to go into just like the splits and once I warm up and go into the splits, it's just not, challenging at all like yeah there's a little bit of a stretch there but for the most part i need to be overstretched at this point um but even if you aren't flexible at all blocks are really good just to keep yourself up if you're if you haven't got into the splits yet to go like that and then so you you're not at that awkward space between the floor and your hands if that makes sense um so i brought these i think they were maybe seven dollars each from kmart and they also come with straps, which I don't have with me now. Um, I haven't really used them too much, to be honest. But straps are really good as well. We've used them at whole quite a bit. Um, which is pretty damn cheap. I would highly recommend getting yourself some yoga blocks for your stretching after your training. Because if you watch my channel, you probably are into the gym. Uh, and you should be stretching after your sessions. Uh, so yoga blocks, you guys have definitely been a game changer for me to start stretching and there are so many exercises and stretches that you can do with yoga blocks not just for splits but for your upper back your lower back uh you, yeah your legs everything so i would highly recommend getting yourself some yoga blocks game changer to your stretching routine and just so many and it's good to switch it up as well just to keep 
keep things fun and interesting for you guys rather than just doing the same basic stretches. Alrighty guys, I am going to keep this video here. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, go follow me on Instagram and subscribe. That would be much appreciated. But uh, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in next week's video.